A short video on how to use mock-ups in Affinity Photo or Designer for the iPad and the desktop um, for that matter, but particularly this is done on the iPad. A mock-up is a file that allows you to create a sample of your product or show your work in a real-world setting without actually having to create a physical product to start with. Let's take this photo for example. You want to see what it looks like for your client. Perhaps you're using the idea to sell your prints and you need it in a frame. So a mock-up is the way to do it. I've opened a Photoshop PSD file type mock-up. Widely available and easy to use. They work fine in Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer and in fact I'll leave one on my website that you can download to use. Also in my um, Affinity Facebook group. Well-made mock-ups contain smart layers which Affinity Photo can edit. Smart layers are best in photo. They work best in photo. Really simple in photo. Slightly different uh, behavior in designer but equally easy. So let's have a look at how it's done. Let's start by having a look at Affinity Photo on the iPad. As I mentioned, it works exactly the same on the desktop system. And this is a mock-up file, a PSD mock-up, that was originally created for Photoshop, but it works equally well on Affinity Photo. And these are the layers. I've got the layer panel open there, you can see. And of course, this is a well-made mock-up. It's not some um, cheap freebie that you can probably come across but it all gives you the instructions your A4 artwork and double click to place your your image now if I expand that there's some of the um, functions that are in there so let's double click now you double click the image not the lettering double click and you can see it comes up with the A4 sheet now that's very neat that's the image that says A4. Now what we're going to do is very simply place an image T-A-I-N-S mountains, we'll search for mountains now there's just to keep it the same, there's the mountains drag that over there and you can see there, now let me get rid of that you can see there that it's placed it inside the A4 sheet that's very nice. Now, how do you? God, that's all you're left with. How do you get that back to the other thing? Well, I'll show you. You can see the text that says there, place your artwork above. Now, that's that one. Well, the artwork has automatically placed it there. We dragged it in and placed it, and that's where it put it. Now, on the iPad, we simply go back to there. You can't see it. This is, this is very odd, you'll find. You can't see it in there at all. But there it is in the picture frame. The right shape, um, slightly tilted. Everything's perfect there. What more could you want? Close that. And there it goes. Now, we can export that. I can um, export that. We'll just make a PNG of it now. Share it to save image that saves it to apple photos that's done i don't want to save it as an image on the drive so we'll just cancel there let me pull that in a little bit and there it is now you can change that image if you like by simply opening that up having a look there yes nothing different there now double click or double tap in the case now we can change that image if you like um, but remember once you've got the image changed we can remove that image you're back to your A4 let's show you this with a different mountain O-U-N-T-A-I-N mountain we'll just try that picture there Oh, and of course, I haven't downloaded it before, so it's going to download it again now. 
takes a little bit of time. Ah, uh, let's move that. And you can see that that's a very large image that I've placed in there. Go back to the move, bring that up. Go to there. Go to there, let's get rid of that. I could probably have been a little more selective with the image. But there's the image, ready to go in the frame. Now you can see it's as it was before, it's just those two images there. Let's go back to there, and there's the image you selected in the frame. Now isn't that wonderful? You can export that, and once again you've got two images. We'll just go back to there. And you can see that it's still there. Let's close that. Where's the image we exported? Now there's the first image I used. There's the mock-up. Perfect. Show your client. Um, put it on Etsy or wherever you happen to be selling your prints. Image of the frame. And of course you can change the frames. Do whatever you like. Now that's done in... Affinity Photo on the iPad. It'll be exactly the same on the desktop. Just double click or double tap in that image area and put in the image you want. Now here we are in Affinity Designer for iPad. This one behaves somewhat differently than Affinity Photo for iPad. Let me move that across there a little bit. Probably reduce it in size so you can see the whole image. But we've still got our A4 image there. Now let's have a look. There's our artwork. Your A4 artwork goes there. And you can see that it's already outlined. Now this behaves slightly differently and can take a little bit of fiddling around with. Let's see what happens when we double tap. You can see it enlarges it, but it doesn't behave the same as photo. But, oops, wrong one, sorry. What we want is unsplash mountains. Now we want a different mountain, so we're looking at something different. That one will do. Let's hope it's not too big. Drop it in there, downloading. Oh, of course. Now you can see it covers the whole image, which is not what we want. But you have to fiddle about with this a little bit. And you can see that that is there. Double click on there to highlight that. Bring that image down and just drop it into the middle of that frame. Now we'll hide that over there, go over there, and there's your image. Oops, I moved that, I didn't mean to do that. If I click on that image, tap the image there, you can see I can move that around, and I can find the best part of that. Now there's our mountain top. You can see the frame comes into into shot there. So you can enlarge or reduce the size of that. I'll just leave that for the moment because we don't really need to worry about that. But the image is in there. It just takes a little bit more fiddling around to get it placed. When you export that, there's your image. Export. Let's just share that to Apple Photos and cancel that then we'll go back we'll have a look at apple photos and there it is there so whether you're in design or whether you're in photos you can use a psd file that's been created by photoshop 
So there's thousands of mock-ups out there, PSD-style mock-ups. Don't try any others, they just don't work. But the good thing about the PSD mock-ups, that especially the ones like these that have smart layers, smart objects in them, you can change your images like that without a lot of fussing about. They're very, very handy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like.